All right, so in the previous Django tutorial, we had uh, gotten our virtual environment set up, um, and we're almost ready to go. But one last thing we need is a text editor. Um, for you guys that have followed uh, some of my tutorials before, you see I use uh, Sublime Text. I was talking to a buddy the other day, and he told me to check out Atom. I've never used it. I've never downloaded it. Uh, it's created by uh, GitHub. Uh, I'm guessing it's pretty good. It seems to have a uh, good amount of followers. So we're going to give it a try. Try something different. Look at something different throughout this uh, tutorial series with Django. So what we're going to do is download Atom, get it started, and go from there. Um, like I really don't know what to expect. For you guys that have a um, text editor or an ID, IDE that you want to use, go for it. By all means, I have no preference what you use. As long as it's not going to interfere with learning. Feel free to use whatever you want. I'm going to use atom.io. So go over to https colon backslash backslash atom atom.io. And on the front page, you'll see a download. I'm guessing if you're on Windows, it'll say download for Windows. So we'll go ahead and download that and check it out. So let me just move this up so I can see it. There we go. And we'll open it up and give it a try so we're going to unpack it so I'm going to pause the video for a second while it does that actually it looks like it's going to do it pretty quickly there we go and it popped up my downloads window. I'm going to slide it into my applications window. And where is it? There we go. We'll open it up. And we'll see what this thing has. This might take a moment, so I'm going to pause it. All right, so it's done verifying. We're going to open it up. I mean that download and install process is pretty simple. So let's see how this looks. There we go. Hmm. All right, so it finally opened up for me. Um, so we got Adam open here. Uh, you got open project. You can install packages. Uh, I did look earlier today when I was working earlier. Uh, they do have a bunch of packages for Python and Django. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to use one. We're just going to use uh, the default pack or default settings for now. Uh, if I come across one that we should be using, I'll let you guys know. You can choose a theme. You can customize your styling. Um, you add a snippet. So, uh, this is what we're going to use unless you have a preference on another one. Uh, otherwise, jump over in our next tutorial where we actually start building our Django template. I'll see you guys then. Have a nice day.